all about the upper body, which we love upper body. Things you're gonna need today are some weights and a stability ball. But if you don't have a stability ball, not even a problem. You can use a table, a coffee table, you could use a couch or a chair for any of these exercises or just stay on the floor, okay? I can, I don't have a stability ball myself, so I will show you all the floor work. It's just awesome to have extra range of motion. So, next time. Awesome, so our timing is 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, so we can transition into each exercise. So, when we're ready, we're gonna start with our weights. Nice and heavy weights. And we are gonna do some deadlifts. So you're gonna have a slight bend in the knees. You're gonna hinge at the hips, okay? So it doesn't mean bend the knees. They're just kind of soft. And you're gonna go hinging at the hips until you feel a tug in the back of the legs. You'll also feel when you pull up, work in the lower back, okay? Just right there. So if you have back problems, these are actually really great because then it strengthens those muscles. Also keeping those abs really, really tight will make that back pain totally go away, which is great. It's curable. <laughs> nice. Inhale down, exhale up. Shoulders stay back and down, making your back nice and flat. Nice. A few more seconds here. Nice. Next movement is called a bent over row. So we are gonna bend at the hips, knees are soft again, and we're gonna stay right here. You're gonna take your weights in an up and down position and you're gonna hold them just like this, like you're gonna row a boat, okay? Just like you would row an oar, right? Is that what it's called, an oar? Okay, so same idea, just right here. You're gonna pull all the way back, squeezing those shoulder blades together and down. And you wanna keep your gaze just in line or keep your neck in a nice straight line. So looking down at the floor, not dropping your neck but just looking down about two feet in front of you. Nice. Core is super tight. Pulling those elbows back behind you. Very nice. A couple more seconds here. Then we're gonna go onto the ball. So go ahead and take your weights down. Grab your stability ball. And for this, you're gonna want your feet up against the wall, okay? It will just keep you from rolling away. <laughs> Very nice. So you're gonna come down and up. This is called a hyperextension. But if you do not have a ball, you're just gonna lay on the floor. Hands come right here at temples. We're gonna raise up and down. Keep your feet like active. Don't just let your legs just die, okay? Put your toes, drive them into the floor to hold you still and keep those legs active as you raise up, focusing in the low, on the lower back, and back up. Up, and down. Exhale up. What's nice about having the stability ball is that she has, Marissa has this awesome range of motion, being able to roll over her body, or roll her body over the ball, and then extend all the way up. Nice. Plank circles. So if you have a ball, you're gonna set up a plank, okay, on the ball, and you're just gonna rotate those hands in a nice circle. If you don't want to do that because it's not an easy movement, <laughs> not at all, you can always just hold a plank on the ball or just come down to the floor. Either way, your plank form is the same, okay? Shoulders are in line with those elbows and your hands are gonna come together in fists. Your feet are about hip distance apart, and your back is long and straight, and your eyes are gonna look straight down at your fists. You can hold this, or if you need to drop down to your knees, just drop to the knees, keeping your feet on the floor again. So when you're ready, just pop back up. Very nice. Now, ball. You're gonna do a chest fly, okay? You can also do this without a ball, but we're just gonna show you how to set it up here. Feet are nice and firm. You're gonna take your hands out nice and wide. Exhale as you bring your hands together, okay? You're aiming for the middle of the chest, okay, with those weights. So if you do not have 
the ball. Just gonna do the same idea right here on the floor. Slight bend in the elbows, open up nice and wide, grabbing like a kid, you're grabbing a kitten in a tree. Just super, super gentle. I've never had the pleasure of grabbing a kitty out of a tree like this, but I imagine it'll be really great. It'll be an experience of a lifetime. <laughs> you could try it if you have a kitty. Just kidding. Please leave your kitties alone. <laughs> nice, bring it up. Now we're gonna go into some push-up variations. So if you have a table, a couch, or a ball, you're gonna prop your feet up on it and we're gonna do a decline push-up, okay? This is working the top of the chest right there. But again, if you don't, not even a problem. Stay on the floor. Let's take the push-ups. Just playing with this angle, it just puts the weight in a different spot, okay? So we're gonna be working all the parts of the chest, upper, sides, and the inside. About 15 seconds. This feels like forever because they're push-ups, <laughs> but it's only 15 more seconds. <laughs> two, and one. Very nice. Now we're gonna come down to the floor, so shake everything out, lace the fingers behind you and open them up. You don't need a ball, because now we're just going into regular push-ups. Nice. So hands are out nice and wide. Again, open those hands real big, so you just have total, total surface area, I guess, is like completely covered, is that right? Yeah. Drop to your knees if you have to. And you probably should, just because we are burning out our chest right now. So don't feel bad. If you need to go up to a wall, if you need to come down to your knees, or up again on an incline. Just gonna take some pressure off. <laughs> 10 seconds here. <sighs> Three. Two and one. Last one, we're burning out our triceps. Same idea, we're doing a push up at the bell. But this time you're gonna take your hands down to chest or just under the chest level under you. You're gonna slide those elbows under, pushing back up, okay? Make sure you feel those arms sliding against your sides the whole way down and the whole way up. If you're not feeling them, they're too far apart, okay? If we want the work in our triceps, you need to have those hands sliding against your body. Or not the hands. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey. <laughs> your elbows. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Almost there. Ah, we're so close. We're so close. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna start over. So go ahead and slowly come up, grab your weights and get ready for a deadlift. We have one more round and then we're done. Nice sweaty workout. Again, you're gonna pull up, feeling it against, or feeling it in that low back in a good way. It should feel like workout pain, not owie pain, okay? So if you're feeling owie pain, maybe kind of stop, grab a mirror, press pause on this thing, grab a mirror, and make sure that you look, that your back is nice and flat, nice and tall. As you come down, knees are slightly bent, and that your abs are tight. Very nice. Couple more. Nice. Switch your grip. Take it up and down. <laughs> nice bend in the hips. Knees are soft. We're gonna pull up and back down. Up and back down. And I almost want you to picture like you're bringing your chest through, okay? So every time you pull up, it's like you're bringing your chest through and then back down, okay? 
That way you're gonna feel a nice, awesome contraction in the back muscles. Can we also just take note of Marissa's arms right now? Really great. <laughs> Grab that ball, feet against the wall, going into a hyperextension or down on the floor with me. Hands come up and down. If you do have back problems though and you're trying, you're like way too much, feeling way too much fatigue, what I want you to do is take your hands out and gently like put your fingers, fingertips on the floor. So as you raise up, you can use those arms to help you get up a little bit more. So you're still gonna get the same amount of work, it's just less pressure on that back. So be nice to your body. Challenge it, but be nice to it. So if you need to do that option, fingertips down, not even a problem. And then when you're ready, come back into that full hyperextension. Very nice. Now we're gonna set up those planks or those plank circles. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so if you remember what side you went to or you rotated to last time, try rotating to the opposite direction. It's not like life or death if you do the same direction twice. <laughs> if you can't remember, not a problem. <laughs> if you can't remember, you're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> and if you wanted to like just draw a U with your arms, totally fine too. You don't have to go in a full circle. Just any movement, that instability of being on the ball works our, what it's called our fast switch muscles. So it's again, just faster fat burn, which we love. Faster and more efficient. <laughs> Freaks your body out. Is your body freaked out right now? It's freaked out. Doesn't know why it's so unstable. Nice. Chest fly, so you can grab the, do it on the ball, I'll hold the ball for you. <laughs> nice. Or any, any surface. If you have a couch, just kind of put your arms on the cushions and just open nice and wide right there, if that makes any sense. You're like, nope, it's fine. <laughs> just come down to the floor. Elbows are slightly bent. Weights are again, middle of the chest, open up nice and wide. And if you're on the floor, I want you to recognize when your elbows come down to the floor. That's how wide you wanna be, okay? Don't let your arms come all the way down if you're on the ball. Don't drop them down to the floor, just enough that you can like feel your shoulder blades open against the ball and then back up. Exhale in. Nice and wide, exhale in. Very nice. We're now going into those decline push-ups, or just normal push-ups for us. <laughs> Again, the ball is just gonna challenge that stability, okay? It's freaking your body out because it's unstable, it's a ball. So if you do wanna try this mo movement, but not on the ball, you don't feel super safe yet, stick to a coffee table, unless it's from Ikea. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Experience, that's just me. <laughs> But any, anything, like a chair or a table, just playing with the different angles is totally, it just makes it so much fun. <laughs> right? Are you having a blast over there? Yeah. <laughs> About 15 seconds. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, move this for you. Nice, and now we're setting up for normal push-ups. So if you've done push-ups already, it's fine. Just do them again. <laughs> but again, you should feel that fatigue, right? We should be kind of fatigued at this point. So don't be afraid to drop down to your knees. Just make sure your toes are on the floor and knees are hip distance apart. Because as you get tired, we kind of forget to use those abs. 
to keep us up. Exhale as you come up. And you should be well aware of your chest at this point. <laughs> Ten seconds. Two and one. Woo. Nice. We have one more push-up variation, and that's that tricep. We can do it. If you need to do it against the wall, do it against the wall, or again, a higher um, surface. And if you're into yoga, you can totally. It's called. What's it called? A chest, chin, no, chest, chin, knee, okay? Chest, knee, chin. You're putting your chest, your knees, and your chin down on the mat. So if you wanted to hold this, you can. Same movement because it's putting out pressure in the tricep. Totally fine. Or if you wanted to just kind of float above the floor, just holding that movement is just gonna burn those triceps out. If you can't push back up, try this option, okay? or if you're feeling all the tired. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It feels challenging. You can put your chin down or just let it flow up above the mat. And time. Nice. We did it. How are you feeling? A little tired, day two? <laughs> I'm gonna have you shake your arms out. Lace the fingers behind you if you can reach back there. Oh. Open up the chest. Go ahead and relax the neck. We really want to stretch you out here because that was brutal. But go ahead and look in the mirror because you already have all the muscles. It's only day two. <laughs> We're all, you're shredded, right? Just kidding. But you do feel stronger. So you're gonna feel kind of sore. You're gonna notice it when you're putting on your seatbelt tomorrow. This motion is gonna kill. So what I want you to do is continue to drink water, drink a ton of water, and keep moving, okay? Keep moving. If you're feeling sore in your chest, move it. That way, when you're walking in the mall, just doing this thing, everyone's gonna know that you did this program, but also you'll just feel better, okay? It'll make those sore muscles kind of relax the more we keep them warm, okay? All right, well, hydrate, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>